please subscribe to our channel, Insight, for more updates. Common Skin Problems Linked to Diabetes Acanthosis nigricans. This skin problem is characterized by darker skin in the creases of the neck that feels like velvet. In fact, this is one of the first signs that you may have diabetes, as it occurs due to insulin resistance. Apart from the back of your neck, acanthosis nigricans can affect the skin on your armpits and groin. Less commonly, it affects areas like the face, inner thighs, elbows, knees and navel or belly button. Obese people with diabetes are at a higher risk of developing this condition. Losing weight is the best way to reduce that risk. Necrobiosis lipoidica diabeticorum. This is another common skin disease in people diagnosed with diabetes. It is caused by changes in the blood vessels and is very similar to diabetic dermopathy. It generally affects the lower legs, where the skin becomes raised, yellow and waxy in appearance. Over time, the lesions develop a purple border and can even cause scarring. Digital Sclerosis People suffering from type 1 diabetes can have digital sclerosis, which means thick, tight, waxy skin that develops on the back of the hands. Also, the joints of the fingers become stiff and cause mobility problems. Keeping your skin moisturized can help soften it, but controlling your blood sugar level is the only treatment for this problem. Eruptive Xanthomatosis Uncontrolled diabetes can cause eruptive xanthomatosis, which is characterized by firm, yellow, pea-like skin growths. These small bumps have a red halo around them and cause a lot of itching. It usually occurs on the back of the hands, crook of the elbows, feet, arms and buttocks. If you are diabetic, do your best to get your blood glucose levels down, as it is the main treatment for this problem. Bullosis diabeticorum Also known as diabetic blisters, this skin problem can occur on the back of the fingers, hands, toes, feet, and sometimes on the legs or forearms. These blisters may occur alone or in patches and resemble burn blisters. However, they are not very painful. Keeping your blood glucose level under control is the only treatment for these blisters. Diabetic Dermopathy In this type of skin condition, also known as shin spots, spots develop that create a barely noticeable depression in the skin. It happens as a result of changes in the blood vessels that supply blood to the skin. The spots usually develop on the shins, but can also occur on the arms, thighs, trunk or other areas of the body. As the spots typically cause no symptoms, people often mistake them for age spots. But unlike age spots, shin spots usually start to fade after 18 to 24 months. However, if your blood sugar is not controlled, the spots can remain indefinitely. Disseminated Granuloma annulare. This is another common skin problem in diabetic people. It causes raised, bumpy or ring-shaped spots that may be skin colored, red or reddish brown. The spots most often develop on the fingers and ears, and may cause mild itching. Once your blood sugar level is under control, the spots usually disappear on their own without leaving scars. Scleroderma diabeticorum Scleroderma diabeticorum is a rare connective disorder occurring in diabetics due to poor metabolic control. It is characterized by thickening of the skin on the upper back area and back of the neck. It can also occur on the face, neck and trunk. The hardening of the skin makes it firm with slightly red or brown woody plaques. For proper diagnosis of this condition, your doctor will advise you to get a skin biopsy done. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more updates.